Welcome back to Art at Home with Miss Lindstrom. Today we are going to learn about inventions and how artists can create really cool new things for people to use. Let's get started. Our learning target for this project is I can brainstorm an invention to help someone. Invention means creating a new tool or device. Let's learn more about inventions from the amazing artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. Oh, every tree I paint always looks the same. And my birds always look like letter M's. <laughs> my picture doesn't look like what I'm drawing either. <laughs> what a crazy wind. It blew my easel over, but not yours. Yeah, it blew the flat papers away, but not the crumpled up ones. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Da -da. Where are we going? Why did we end up here? Hmm, well, let's see. Uh, we were wondering why the wind blew some things around uh, and not other things, uh, and then... Yes, huh? that is the answer to everything. Huh? What is the answer to everything? Exactly. What is the answer to everything? <laughs> Leonardo, I'll come back later. Sure, Mona, you've been sitting long enough. Huh? huh? You're Leonardo da Vinci, the great artist and inventor! Oh, and that's the famous Mona Lisa! Da, 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 da Vinci! The great Leonardo da Vinci said that I had the answer to everything! Yes, all answers come from questions. Oh. Hey, you're right! All answers do come from questions. I never thought of that before. Yes, questions like, why does the wind blow some things and not others? Looking, asking, and doing. And then looking, asking, and doing again can teach us a lot. I can tell you looked at this flower a lot. You've drawn it from all different ways. Yes, it's called studying something. And in nature, there is so much to study. You can learn a lot from following something closely with your eyes. Do you see the spiral of this shell? Do you see how it slowly goes up and up? This amazing design of nature has given me so many ideas. See? Ta -da! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, wow! I see that you really do study nature. Yes, there is a creative fervor in the air, <laughs> a great desire to explore the world around us. And I have an interest and curiosity about everything. <laughs> hey, Maddie, look at this. When you move the lever like this, the wing moves up and down like that. And then the papers fly away. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Da Vinci. <laughs> Dada is always so curious. Well, good. That is the only way to learn. Asking questions and looking, really looking, will lead to, well, probably more questions. Yeah, like why did the papers fly away? Good question. What did you see? The papers blew away when the wing moved up and down. The wing moved the papers! Hmm. But how could the wing move the papers? It didn't even touch. <laughs> it was the wind that moved the papers. Like when you fan your face with your hand when it's really hot out and you get a little breeze. Ah, yes. But keep questioning. There is always more to huh? discover. Like 
Why does my hand make a breeze? And, uh, like, oh. why is this water <laughs> moving in swirls? Ah, yes. I've noticed how wind and water act in the same way. If something is in the way, they either flow around it, if they cannot move it, or they knock it over. When two forces strike each other, the lighter of the two will move the swiftest. <laughs> like how the wind pushes the air away. Air and, and water, the air pushes the papers away. And air. <laughs> if air is like water, that means that birds swim in the air. <laughs> and fish fly in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Being able to fly has been my dream since I was a little boy. I would watch the birds soar and glide, and I wondered what made them fly, how and why. When I saw a bird lift its wing upwards against the wind, the bird moved higher and faster. And when it tilts downwards, so the wind hits the tops of the wings, I saw it made the bird dive. The wind will push the bird up or down or around, depending on how it moves its wings. So the wind needs a large area to hit, to make something move fast. Or slow something down. Ah, here we have a large surface that is resisting the air. The parachute pushes against it and the mannequin slowly floats down, as you can see. Uh, uh no, I can't really see anything. Can't move very fast. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you've done so many things. Have you flown in the sky too? No, I can't seem to find the right materials that are light in weight and strong enough to resist the wind. <laughs> the only loftiness I've gotten from feathers is writing with my quills. But oh, how I saw! <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing all that you've done. I want to study and discover things, too. <laughs> yeah, and I know the answer to everything. What is the answer to everything? Exactly what is the answer? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We had so much fun. <laughs> wow, this really does look like that tree. Leonardo da Vinci was right. You can learn a lot from following something closely with your eyes. Yeah, and I just saw... <sighs> When I blow into the air, the dandelion seeds move faster. And that makes me the wind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We are going to think about what the movie taught us. Looking, asking, and then doing. For today's lesson, we're going to start with look and ask. So we can think of something cool to invent. Let's brainstorm together. Look around your house. What is something you or a family member needs help with? Pause and write down some ideas. I'm going to write down cleaning toys. Hmm. What else do I need help with? Um, let's see. Ooh, my tortoise Pearl, she needs to go for a walk. So, Pearl exercise. Now, if you can't think of something around your house, what do you think other people need help with? Hmm. Ooh. You know what I always have a hard time with? When your ice cream melts really fast and then it gets all over your hand. Let's see what else you can think of. Pause the video and write or draw some more ideas down. Good. Now ask yourself, what can you make to solve that problem? What can we invent to help others? Maybe if we were cleaning up toys, we could make a cool robot that went around and picks them up. Hmm. 
wow, you know, they make those little ball things for hamsters where they can roll around on their own and get some exercise. I wonder if I could make one of those for Pearl. Melting ice cream. I don't know about that one. Hmm. Oh, maybe I could make something in my hand to catch it. do you think we can invent to help other people? Take a few minutes and write down your ideas. Now, we need to start drawing our idea and really plan out what we're going to create. All right, I think I want to make a cool exercise ball for Pearl. So that's what I'm going to focus on. The exercise ball. Now, I know it has to be big enough to hold pearl and it's got to be a ball probably so let's see well now how am I going to get her in and out of there the hamster ones have a little opening and closing but she's kind of bigger so I think maybe it needs to be split in half oh kind of looks like a pokeball and then maybe has like a little latch over it to close it now I probably want to stand so when I'm done using it, it doesn't keep rolling away. Perfect. Now, what does your invention need to work? Will it be big or small? I know that mine needs to be big enough to fit Pearl, so I should probably measure Pearl first. I'm going to write that down measure pearl good does your invention need to be really strong or can it be kind of lightweight what should it be made out of now i don't have a lot of materials at home so i think i'm going to make this out of cardboard and see how that goes so take some time brainstorm your idea draw your idea and then next class we will think about how we're going to create it. Now, once you are done brainstorming your idea, please leave a comment on Google Classroom or YouTube, or you can put your drawings on Artsonia so I can see what you are thinking of creating. Also, think about what you're going to name it. You want a cool name for your invention so you can show it to other people. Remember, please leave comments or questions on YouTube. Google Classroom or Artsonia. You can also check in during my office hours if you are stuck with your invention. I can't wait to see what you create.